It's at 16, nearly 17 degrees in there. With the old Dickinson running. On. Number one on the valve. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's number one. There we are on the valve. It is really pumping out some warmth. Hi, I'm Tony. This is the Sweet Apache, and we are building this boat that we're down below in. Um, as you see, a dusting of snow. It's the second. The second one we've had this week, you know, this sort of sloppy snow stuff, um, makes the decks a bit slippery and they're obviously a bit chilly out. I've only just lit the, the Dickinson stove this morning. And once it is lit and running, you know, it takes the, takes the chill off quite well. And in a liverboard situation, you'd have it lit all the time, but um, I only light it as I come out and, and turn it off at the end of the day. Uh, just lit it so it's still fairly chilly in here. Um, this week, I've actually had a very good week this week, got quite a lot done. Uh, one or two things I didn't video, but I'll tell you about, and some things that I did indeed video. One of the first things I did was to uh, do a bit of wiring. I've got the bilge pump, you remember I've been installing the electric bilge pump, I got that wired up and working, and also at the same time ran the wires for the compass light down, and uh, got that hooked up and, and working. And we then made a bit of mahogany trim just to just to cover up the wires inside. And then while I was working on trim pieces, also cut some mahogany for get the trim around here. It's been it's been bugging me for a while that the fact that I didn't have that finished and. I took the opportunity to get some mahogany trim around there and I'm in the process of varnishing it. I've got four coats on there now and on, on the trim that's that's covering the, the compass slight wires there. Um, and with the Dickinson stove lit, you can actually varnish and it dries, it's perfectly dry. Without it, it would never dry. Well. 
And one major thing I did this week was to get the rear engine plate in position. So let's go in the engine room and have a quick look. And there it is in position. I'm afraid the sound in here is very echoey, but stainless steel plate holding the engine bed in. And if you haven't followed the whole story, you may be wondering what that's all about because it's a not a normal standard fitting. It boils down to this: that there's a plywood hull, and this engine bed, which is not actually the right engine bed for this engine. Um, is simply fiberglassed in to a plywood hull and I wasn't really happy just trusting to a bit of fiberglass so I've also designed and built now this bracket on the aft end that, that is simply holds the engine bed or supports it just in case and there's another one here on the forward end of the engine bed look See, it's a stainless bracket, so uh, just sort of belt and braces approach to that all. So I'm not relying purely. I'm, you know, I did a thorough job of glassing it in and 
it's probably enough, but I just felt happier with some mechanical fixings there as well. And the way things are going to pro progress in here is that I've now ordered the gooseneck muffler for the exhaust and the through hole for the exhaust, so the exhaust will be going in soon. I have the gear shift throttle lever that will be going in soon. A couple of cables to connect up for that. So that's where we are really. Exhaust and, and control cables will be hooked up soon. So the engine then, I've got one more wiring cable to do. I've got the wiring cable that goes from the instrument panel there, the back of the instrument, instrument panel, down to the engine electrics. I've got that cable to put in. The cable that I have is far too long and I've got to shorten that. Um, but those are the things I'm working on in here and the engine room is approaching being completed. Exciting times. Which indeed leads us to uh, where we're heading here in the, with the boat. I say, what I'm pushing towards now, and I know they're not the most exciting things to, to watch on video, but I'm pushing towards just getting all of these little bits finished um, and making good progress. Um, I firmly intend and believe, and here I go, this is bold, uh, to be launching this boat to put it in the water next summer. Um, some stage next summer at least, going up to the boat yard with it, doing a couple of bits of completion and certainly dunking it in the water, certainly. Uh, if all goes according to plan, and we know that things don't necessarily do that, but um, that's what I, you know, I should boldly predict that next summer we'll see her splashed to some degree at the very least. Looking nice and comfy as well. And here at the forward end, the mattress has arrived. I've just bought a standard mattress um, and clearly it needs a trim to shape. But it's been laid out here now for, for 48 hours. It's had time to expand, it should be full size now. It's a nice comfy bit of mattress. I should be in here with my bread knife, cutting it to shape. Um, I use a sliding bevel to get, get the angles for the sides just to guide me and cut it into a, a couple of panels. It won't be one big part, a few panels. Um, and then that would be the, all of the foam. It's the last piece of the foam. We'll be taking these inside soon. I've ordered some or, or requested some samples of cloth for the upholstery. Should be arriving any day now. Have a look at them and choose our upholstery cloth. Exciting times. And that, guys, is it for this week. Massive thank you from me to you for watching and obviously to the lovely people who support us on PayPal, Patreon. If you've got a project on the go, particularly a boat build of any sort, um, we've got the SV Tapatia Friends Facebook group. I'd be very, very pleased to see what you're doing. If you want to post some pictures, short videos, anything over there It'd be great to see what you're up to but not necessarily just boats you know if you've got any other handicraft project going on we'd love to see what you're up to it's great to see what people are doing so i can only encourage you to get over there and show us what you're up to leave us a comment give us a thumbs up or even better hit that subscribe button all right we'll be back see you next time
Bye.